Hi everybody, welcome to my vinyl and CD update number 8. This is a chance for you to grab a beverage of your choice, just relax and we're going to talk through what I've been buying over the last few months. And this is really kind of since the new year, I did the last one, the last one covered the Christmas period, so this is everything really from January onwards. And it's a bit more than I was expecting really, so let's rattle through this and uh, and see what it is that we've been getting. I'm going to put uh, links to most of this stuff down in the description for if there's anything that uh, takes your interest and you want to uh, want to look at getting it yourself and um, but also let me know your comments on any of this stuff that you see so first of all and I'm not going to spend much time on this because I have done videos to death on this subject but just a reminder John Lennon Plastic Ono Band we've got the two disc vinyl <clears throat> the two CD set and the deluxe box and I was very very um, honoured to have received these from Yoko and Sean. Uh, they must have liked what I've done in the past and they decided to send me those, which I was really grateful for. Uh, so if you want to see reviews and unboxings of all that, if you've not seen it already, then I'll put some links. It, it's all there. I have done that to death. Uh, so let's move on to what else I've been getting. It's a mixture of CDs and vinyl. I'll flick between the two. Let's do a few CDs first, shall we? So I got uh, this Bob Dylan 1970. This this came out in March, and really it's it's sessions from 1970, and it's really that it's that period of Bob where it was all sort of very laid back. Uh, it sounds although it's although it's not the John Wesley Harding sessions, it's very much that kind of style, New Morning style, Nashville skyline, that kind of thing. And George Harrison's on there. He's not easy to pick out on on a lot of this stuff. Uh, because it's mainly guitar work, right? You don't really hear George so much uh, talking or singing, but it's a good three disc set. Is that it's worth getting hold of if you um, if you're interested in Bob Dylan, what he was doing around about the very early 1970s. That's uh, there's some good sessions there. I also got this Time Outtakes Dave Brubeck Quartet, bit of jazz. So this is this is alternate versions of the songs that's on the Time Out album, which is one of my favorite jazz albums you know i i like jazz i'm no jazz expert uh but that's one of my absolute favorite jazz albums so getting this which is alternate versions of the uh songs from those same recording sessions i was really glad to get hold of this and it's a real nice listen it wasn't available on vinyl when i bought this i'm not sure whether they've since released it on vinyl this came out in january um and i, I nearly bought the high res version instead of the cd but i thought I'd, I'm I'm not quite ready to let go of the physical product just yet. Um when it's an option, I want to have that in my hands, so I thought yeah, I'll go for the CD. I've also bought uh, well continuing my uh recent phase of getting into Ringo at last solo. Uh there's the new zoom in, which I do like. Uh I think Here's to the Nights was a song that didn't grab me at all, first of all, but I like it a lot more now. I've heard it several times. Uh, you've got a sort of a bit of reggae in there, and it's just it's just a good easy listen from Ringo. It's it's good, well produced songs. It sounds great. It was uh, it was mastered at uh, Bernie Grundman Studios, so that's going to be a, a pretty much a guarantee of quality there in terms of the sound quality. So yeah, I was happy to pick that up for about seven quid. And he's got another EP coming out. I think it's in October, so I will no doubt get that as well. I think. And I'm also picking up the, uh, every now and again, if I see a, a good price on a, an older Ringo album, I'm picking those up as well. So Vertical Man, I got this a few weeks ago for about £2 off eBay. And there's a few good songs. I think I think Near the Start is where my favourites are on here. So What in the World, Mindfield, King of Broken Hearts. I think that's a really good three-song run, three song run on this album. Not my favourite Ringo album overall. I think I'm still giving that to Goodnight Vienna at the moment. But this is enjoyable, pleasant, nothing offensive. It's nice. And I'm still enjoying uh, my little Ringo session that I've been having over the last few months. Uh, let's do one more CD and then we'll start having a look at a little bit of vinyl. Yoko, Between My, uh, Between my Head and the Sky. I think this is a really interesting album. Uh, it's from about 2008, I think, R that roughly that time period anyway, and it's it's a it's quite a modern, fresh sounding album, and it's got some good uh, sort of dance type tracks, and it's got some good more ballady type tracks. It's just it's just a very enjoyable listen. Is that that you're not going to find much of the 
the sort of traditional screaming Yoko that you might know from the sort of 60s and 70s. It's not that kind of an album. It's much more uh, it's much more accessible than that. So yeah, I I thoroughly recommend that if you've not uh, if you've not heard that one yet. Okay, let's do a little bit of vinyl and then we'll come back and look at some more CDs in a little while. So uh, this was a nice uh, pickup that I got just about uh, a week ago. Craftwork Autobahn. Uh, special edition coloured vinyl. So this is this is a blue vinyl. So I've never. This is the first time actually that I've ever bought a Kraftwerk record. I mean, I've known them for forty years, um, but only really sort of in 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 passing, really. Uh, so that's a lovely blue. Is that Autobahn? Autobahn. The the song is the only one that I know on this album. Um, I've played it quite a lot on Spotify over the last year or two. And it's just it's just a really enjoyable listen. So I haven't actually had a chance to play this yet because I've only just bought it. Uh, so I will be doing that very soon. And I'm really looking forward to getting to know the rest of the songs that's on that album. And, and who knows, it might lead me on to picking up more craft work in the near future. Potentially. We will see. While I was there, um, while I was on that trip into town, I also picked up a couple of other things. Uh, Night Train, the Oscar Peterson Trio. So I mentioned how Time Out, Dave Brubeck's one of my favourite jazz albums. Well, my actual favourite jazz album is the Oscar Peterson Trio, We Get Requests. Love that album. Uh, and so I thought, well, let's pick up another uh, Oscar Peterson and see whether they we'll see whether they're going to smash it again for me. Um, again, because I've only just bought this, I have not had chance to play this yet. Uh, this is a second-hand copy. I picked this up for about eight pounds from uh, Relics in Leeds, which is a real good, uh, real good second-hand record shop in Leeds. But this looks in really good condition. Uh, so for eight pounds, I am, uh, I'm very happy with that. And the other one I picked up while I was in Relics. It's actually the last Dire Straits studio album that I needed to complete my collection of that. And the reason that I've held out on this one, Love Over, Love Over Gold, is because I've mainly been picking up the, the sort of recent remasters from a few years ago. But I'd heard that Love Over Gold was not particularly well received in that series. So I thought, I'm not going to get that. So I managed to find, again in Relics, that they had an original pressing. Uh, and you can tell it, it's quite a it's typical early 80s. It's quite a lightweight piece of vinyl. But I think that this is going to be probably better than what I could have got if I had um, if I'd bought the remaster. But that's good. That's a that's a nice uh, old fashioned style label there. It's even got uh, thank you very much to RW, whoever you are, previous owner for writing your initials on there. Assuming that's what it is. Always great when that happens, but never mind. Uh, so yeah, I was pleased to pick this up. Oh, it's such a that is such a light piece of vinyl. Uh, yeah, that was a good buy. What a bargain coming up next. Um, Amazon just reduced this like to half price a couple of weeks ago. The soundtrack album to the Bohemian Rhapsody movie from a couple of years ago, but it's but it's Queen. The music is Queen. It's not music that's been created for the film it is all original queen music here and the absolute highlight of this for me is the fact that it's got the lion's share of the live aid set queen's legendary live aid set is on here i think that the only song missing is crazy little thing called love now i mean i've i've watched the live aid set many many times i watched it on the day uh, in july 85 i've watched it on youtube many times since crazy little thing called love was never it's, it's not the song that uh, that set is remembered for, so I'm not too bothered that it's missing. Would have been nice, of course, to have the full thing, but it's no surprise that they didn't give us everything from that set. But that's, you know, there's some good live uh, sessions on there. There's some studio music, and it's just a really nice package. So I got this for about £12, which is crazy for a, a double album with a real nice gatefold like that. So I was very, very happy with that. Another crazy Amazon bargain that they just slashed the price for no reason that I could fathom was this a couple of weeks ago, Linda McCartney, Wide Prairie. So I had this on CD already, uh, so I've, I, I already knew the album reasonably well, but it was like £7, 
I'm going to get it for that price. But I, I, there's some songs on here that I really like. I, I really like the title track, Wide Prairie. Uh, the White Coated Man was one that had never really lodged in my brain, but as soon as I heard it on this, I thought, oh, I really like that song. So that's one I've now started revisiting digitally because um, I've got it in iTunes. The Light Comes From Within, I think, is a fantastic song. Uh, now, when I know when I first saw the title, oh, The Light Comes From Within, Linda McCartney, I thought, oh, it's going to be something really spiritual. It's going to be, like, it, it evoked memories of George Harrison living in the material world. And it's nothing like that whatsoever. It's completely different. It's a very funny song. It's, it's also Linda sort of attacking whoever it is that she's attacking um with venom shall we say but it's uh, it's a really interesting listen and i like cow on here as well that's a really interesting song very simplistic childlike but it's got a very sort of big message behind the song uh so yeah i was that was that is again it's it's one of these it's a nice listen you're gonna have an enjoyable time with that and of course it's got paul mccartney all over it so if you're collecting paul mccartney it's one of those things that i think we're missing out if we don't have that in our collection. Let's do a few more CDs and then we'll come back to uh, these bits of vinyl that are still to go through. So I, I went through a bit of a rocky phase. I don't mean a rocky, um, things were turbulent. I mean, rocky the movies. I went through a rocky phase a few weeks ago and uh, I realised that I had a really rubbish MP3 copy of this album that I must have got from somewhere years ago. So I thought, time to get it on CD. Uh, and I just love some of the music in the Rocky films, the Rocky fanfares and the training montages and all that. I'm a real sucker for all that, and there's some great things on there, so that was good. A um, bit of cheesy 80s pop now. We won't dwell on this too much, but it's got some great songs on it. This is Jimmy Somerville, so it's got some Bronski beat, communards, and some of his solo stuff on here, but you know, Don't Leave Me This Way by the communards in 86, that was... That was like my favourite song of all time when it came out back then, when I was really into my pop music. But songs like Small Town Boy, Never Can Say Goodbye, You Are My World, So Cold The Night. There are some great songs on that, so get a couple of quid off eBay, that's all it was. Um, me talking about my uh, love of 80s pop, you know, that's the age that I was. One of the big albums that I had at the time was Now 8. Uh, I used to tend to get the Now albums at Christmas. Somebody would get me one at Christmas and this was one of the ones that was out at about that time of year. So Now 8 has got some fantastic songs on it, mainly from sort of late summer, autumn 86, and then they compiled them and it came out for Christmas. Uh, so just get you a shot, shot of the track listing there if anybody wants to have a look. But um, yeah, really happy to have that to go along with my Now 5 that I got the previous Christmas because they're reissuing all these at the moment. So I'm, I'm kind of picking up the ones that um, that mean something to me that I had back in the day. OK, we've got a bit of a, a bit of a Bowie fest coming up. So, uh, yeah, I did a bit of um, I did a bit of a chronological Bowie listen a couple of months ago where I started right at the beginning with this. So I'd never I'd heard this album, but I'd never owned a copy of it. Um, and I started with this and I went right through to kind of um, Scary Monsters Let's Dance era, uh, which I found myself owning every Bowie album up to that point. So I got to know this album quite well. And this is a really nice package. Uh, if I just open this up, it's like a kind of a four way thing there. So that's really nice. And some good pictures on the back there but this has got all sort of single mixers mono mixers alternate takes all that kind of thing um over the course of two discs so that's really good i mean it's just amazing when you do a bonnie Bo bonnie bowie chronology just how much he was changing it really sort of hits you hard you get to something like um diamond dogs and you think it's it's only really sort of five or six years after this the the phases that he went through were just incredible album by album amazing so yeah i was really pleased to pick that up and because i was doing this bowie chronology i needed to plug a couple of gaps so one of the gaps i had never heard this album never owned it the man who sold the world to be honest i'm not a massive fan of this album from the few times that I've listened to it so far. Maybe it'll grow on me a bit more, but I think the al other albums that he was doing either side of it, for me, were a lot better than that. Uh, but, you know, it's a classic image of Bowie there. 
A uh, couple more Bowie. I got these. Well, this first one, this is an album that I'd never heard before, Heathen. Uh, so this is a nice package as well as the album. It's got a second disc with some bonus tracks on. So that's good. And I got this for £3 on eBay. So I was really pleased with that. I didn't even realise it was a special edition until it landed uh, on my doormat. So that was a nice little uh, bonus. But uh, yeah, I listened to that and I, I enjoyed that album as a good sort of later period Bowie album. And then the next day, which again, I've always had I've always had a copy of that I got from somewhere, but I thought I really ought to buy this. Um, and I just think the audacity of the man to issue that as an album cover. Just take the Heroes album cover, cross that word out, put the next day on it, and just put a sticker over the top. Um, it's, it's either genius or the height of laziness. I will let you decide. Let, let's, let's assume it's genius when it's Bowie. But that's a really good album. It's just got a lot, lots of really, really good, well-crafted songs on it. So that was good to pick up. I'll do one more CD, then I'll go back to this vinyl. This is another album. A lot of these albums were ones that I've kind of had dodgy copies of over the years, and I thought I really ought to buy them. And here's another one. Jeff Buckley, live at... I, I've, I always assume it's Chinay, live at Chinay, uh, which was a, it's, it's a coffee shop in New York, and he would just set up him and his amp and his guitar, and he would do a set in the coffee shop, and this one was recorded. And... I mean, it just shows the outstanding talent of the man. Uh, what an absolute force he was. There is a cover on here of um, Van Morrison's The Way Young Lovers Do. And it is just absolutely incredible. I'm just trying to find it. Yeah, it's on, it's on disc two, The Way Young Lovers Do. It's about 10 minutes long. It's just him and a heavily reverbed electric guitar. And it's just astonishing. It's it's one of the great live performances I've ever heard from anybody. And he's just in a coffee shop. So again, I managed to pick this up for about four or five pounds, double disc edition. Uh, and that is really, really well worth a listen. Okay, I have got um, one. Uh, let's do this one more box set before we go and finish off on the vinyl. I've been looking for ages for a good price on this. The Bob Dylan, more blood, more tracks. Is that a great name or is that an awful name? Let me know what you think. Uh, Bootleg Series Volume 14 Special Edition. So this is six discs of, you know, pretty much everything from the Blood on the Track sessions. There is an awful lot of stuff on here. Uh, it's got both... Uh, it's got the sessions that he did in New York. It's got the sessions that he did in Minneapolis. It's got the whole works on there. Uh, really nice book with it as well. Um, got a lot of detail about the sessions. And yeah, I managed to get this for about £50, whereas it had always been like 100 on Amazon. Occasionally came down to about 90 but brand new, £52. I was really happy to get that. So that was, uh, that, was a good, that was a good find, and I've just dropped it. But it's okay, we haven't damaged it. Don't worry. It's me that should be worrying. Uh, right, okay, we're on to the last little bit of vinyl now. Uh, and I picked up this, the Empyrean. John Frusciante, the guitarist from Red Hot Chili Peppers. This is a solo album from, I think it was 2000, yeah, 2009. And they did a 10th anniversary repress, entirely analogue. And uh, you also get with this a lossless download of the album, which was nice to have. But this is, this is a beautiful album. There's some great songs on here. It's got John Frusciante displaying all his uh, great guitar skills on here. Uh, yeah, just a lovely album. It's a two... I think it's a two disc. Yes, yeah, two disc. And yeah, uh, if, if, you, if you like Red Hot Chili Peppers and you've not heard this album, I would absolutely thoroughly recommend that. Um, I would like to say a big thank you to Norman Records in Leeds. Who managed to get this for me? It was uh, not easy to get hold of. I think I think what happened was that um, it wasn't available in this country, and I think some stock was maybe some spare stock from America was finding its way over here, and they managed to get a copy. It took them a while to get hold of it, and then once they got hold of it, I had it the next day. So thank you to them for that. Okay, the last little bit of vinyl I've got now. Um, it's it's Bowie. So we've got uh, his. Uh, whether you want to call it David Bowie or whether you want to call it Space Oddity um, 
this this is this is called this one's called David Bowie. I think on my CD version it calls it Space Oddity. But there's some great songs on here, uh, and the, the CD that I've got sounds fantastic. So I thought, oh, I'm really interested to hear what it sounds like on vinyl. But uh, things like Letter to Hermione is a great song. Janine that's on here sounds amazing on CD. Sounds even better on the vinyl. So. This is an album that I'm really sort of starting to love as, a, as an early Bowie album. It's, uh, it's well worth your time. If you like Bowie and you've never heard this album, I would absolutely thoroughly recommend that. Other people who love Bowie who wouldn't have heard that album? I don't know. We can't assume that everybody's heard everything, can we? I know I certainly haven't. Uh, I also got from a bit later, sort of mid-70s era, Station to Station. Which, you know, there's only six songs on here, but the six great songs. So, I mean, things like TVC 15's brilliant. Stay, they're, they're, in fact, they are all great songs on this album. Uh, let's make no mistake about it. This is an album that's gone up in my appreciation since I've started spending a decent bit of time with it over the last couple of months or so. Uh, so, this is the uh, recent remaster 180 gram version from when would it come out? 2016. So, it's about five years ago. This. This came out. And I also realised I had a major gap in my Bowie vinyl collection. Uh, I didn't have Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars, but I do now. Um, is it his best early period album? Well, it may well be. It is an absolute classic. Um, I'm sure other people will have other favourites other than this one, whether it's Aladdin Sane, Diamond Dogs, Hunky Dory, whatever. But this is, by anybody's standards, this is a classic album. Um, just got great songs on it all the way through, really. Five years is... It's a it's a hi-fi system test case in my world is five years. That's If I'm going to test a stereo system, uh, then I definitely want to hear that song. Moon Age Daydream, Starman, uh, Ziggy Stardust, Su Suffragette City. Just some classic songs from Bowie on that. I did get a couple of other bits and pieces that I've had to leave out of this video... Because um, they're packed up in boxes. Uh, I've started packing this room up because I'm moving out of this room. As long as nothing goes really badly wrong. And I'm just going to move my camera over. You'll see I've already started to pack a few things away. And then I realised when I was setting up for this video, some of them were a few things that I've only just bought. I'll save those for the next time I do this, which is probably going to be in my new room in a new house, which should be in a few weeks' time. Uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll carry those over for there. But um, I'm going to do a bit of a time-lapse video of me packing this room up and probably rebuilding it in the new house as well. So um, I hope you'll join me for that when I do that. But uh, yeah, that's what I've been getting over the last few months. Let me know your comments. And like I say, there's links if any of this is of interest that you want to um, look at buying it yourself. But thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you again very soon. See you later. Bye-bye.